You don't think I have a cookie right under there? You don't think I have a cookie right under my camera? I do have a cookie right under my camera. You think I don't have a cookie? I got a cookie! I'm in a cookie because I'm fat, everybody! I do Can't think about it. And I'm feeling good. I'm getting strong. Strong like bull. I'm starting to recover from my sickness. I'm sorry. I've been kind of quiet this week. I've been trying to recover from this stupid strep. But I'm starting to feel good. Getting it back. And I'm ready to go. Now, before I start, I know it's New Year's weekend coming up. So I wish everybody a happy New Year. I hope... Everybody has a wonderful holiday, and you know what? To you, based with the Minnie Mouse cup right here, given by my daughter, you gotta love eggnog out of a Minnie Mouse cup. It's eggnog time, yo. Eggnog time, yo. So, now that we got that out of the way, I wanna talk some Eagles football. I have a lot on my mind. I'm still congested. I, I also have like a sinus infection, but I got a lot on my mind about the Eagles. And I'm also going to give you my Eagles Dallas Cowboys prediction. But I went back, I looked at the Eagles game again, actually twice. And after watching it again, I was more dissatisfied with Foles than I thought. I really think he played a lousy, lousy game. So lousy, in fact, that I don't think he could play that bad again. That's the honest truth. But it was lousy. And it's also created a atmosphere where everybody is bashing Eagles. Bash, bash, bash the Eagles. And that's the way it's been going. From other teams to people writing articles about the Rams, putting guys and resting guys so that they face the Eagles. All that kind of stuff because people don't respect the Eagles. It's going to be the Eagles versus the world. And you know what? I'm going to be on the Eagles side. I'm with the Eagles. Now, even Eagle fans have lost hope. Not all of them, but some of them. They feel like we got no shot. And I would be lying. I would be lying to you if I said that doesn't cross my mind time to time. There's a part of me that thinks, how are we going to get this done? Did you see how bad Foles was? How are we going to get this done in playoffs? But you know what I do? I push it to the side. I can't take it. I can't take it. And here's why. We're 13-2. and two. Every time in my lifetime, except for 4 that the Eagles really had a shot to go to the playoffs or do something and go to the Super Bowl and win it, it seems like the main guy gets hurt. Cunningham, Carson Wentz. It's been crazy, absolutely crazy and horrible. Now, we won a division we couldn't celebrate because Carson Wentz was injured. Then we get home field advantage, and you felt like you couldn't celebrate because they played so bad. So every moment that we should have enjoyed this year has been taken from us. Now they want to take the playoffs. I'm not going to let them. I'm ready to fight, to brawl, to kick to punch, scratch, onside kick, whatever we got to do to win, I want to win. Now, I am concerned about Foles. I am concerned about Doug Peterson. And a lot of my judgment on how this team got to a 13-2, maybe 14-2, 13-3 record, is going to depend on how and what they do in the playoffs. Was Carson Wentz just that unbelievable? Is he even more underrated than I think? And I think he's a generational player. We got to find out these things. But I'm not ready to, to die. I'm not ready to lay over. If the Rams are really trying to rest their players to play the Eagles. Then when they come to Philly, they're going to get their ass kicked. They're going to get a beat down. Make sure it happens. Make sure, Doug Pearson, make sure that defense, the defense got to step up. But you still have to come to Philly. And it's still a hard place to play. And it's still cold outside. So we still have that advantage. And I'm not giving it up. Now, as far as the stinking Cowboys go, because I'm getting irritated thinking about all this, but the stinking Cowboys are playing to be 8-8. Eight eight. What did I say in the spring? People, Dallas Cowboy fans, I don't hear them. I've said Dallas will go 8-8. Eight eight. Go look at every prediction I had for Dallas, 8-8. Eight eight. They may even do worse than that. Now, 
Garrett's going to play everybody. They're going to try to win. Why? Because they want to be 8-8. Eight eight. He wants that 8-8 eight eight so he can hopefully keep his job. I hope Dow signs him to a 10-year extension. He's a stinky coach. So, the Eagles will play Dallas. Dallas will have their starters. The Eagles, I believe, will play Foles and starters for a quarter to a half. I wouldn't. I would sit them all the whole game, but that's just me. But I think they'll sit a quarter. They'll play a quarter to a half. Then you'll see backups. So, the Eagles are going to play Dallas probably with backups for at least a half. I believe that the final score will still be Eagles 24, Dallas 17. The Eagles will win with the backups. <laughs> and guess what? We'll laugh at Dallas for a whole year. We'll have swept them and beat them with our backups. I expect that to happen. I really do. And then it's time for the playoffs. Now, next week is a busy week. I, I haven't done a lot of stuff. I've been feeling bad this week. I've been trying to rest. But we got a bye week next week. We got... I'm going to do an award show. I'm going to give you my awards for the NFL season. We'll stream a game. We'll stream some Sixers. It's going to be a lot of stuff. So I hope everybody has a great holiday weekend. Great New Year's. God bless you and your family. Everybody have a safe, great night. I probably, I'm going to try to do a live stream either tomorrow or Saturday. And if I don't see you, I don't see you or hear from you before New Year's. You guys take care. God bless. And I'll see you. I'll see you during a week. The playoffs are just around the corner. With that said, take care, talk to you later, and don't be a dingbat.